0.009 moles of gas undergoes the process shown below. What type of process is this? And then what is initial temperature and what is the final temperature? So first off, on what process this is, let's look at the picture right here. So the pressure is changing from three atmospheres down to one atmosphere, but the volume is staying right at 100 cubic centimeters. So since the temperature or the uh, the volume, excuse me, is, is staying the same, this will be an isochoric process. And then on to part B, what is the initial temperature? And part C, what is the final temperature? So since it's dealing with an ideal gas, of course we're going to use PV equals nRT. And they want the temperature, so we'll divide both sides by nR. nR. So that gives us temperature is equal to PV over nR. Okay, now if we make a list of what we have, we know that N is 0 0.009 moles of some gas. And they tell us that from the graph, the initial volume and the final volume are both 100 cubic centimeters. If we move the decimal place over 6, that gives us 0 0.1233. Four, one, one, two, three, there we go, cubic meters. Okay, now from the graph, we can tell that the initial pressure is equal to three atm, and the final pressure is equal to one atm. Okay, so whenever we do this, we're gonna, let's do initial first. So we have three ATM, and we know from the conversion factor table that in one ATM, we have 101.3 kilo pascals, and then we wanna go from kilo pascals to just pascals. So now the atmospheres cancel, KPAs cancel, and we're left with Pascals. So we can just substitute the one in here as well. So this will give us for the f initial pressure, 303,900 Pascals. And for initial, we'll get 101. 1,300 pascals. So now let's see, we have pressure, we have volume, we have moles, and we have R. Now we can just plug everything in. Part B, we want the initial temperature. So for part B, we want the initial temperature. T is equal to PV over nr. So pressure, we just figured out for initial is 303,900 pascals times the volume, which is 0 0.0001 meters cubed whoop, pascals. And then the n is 0 Zero 0.09, so 0 0.009 moles. And R is, of course, 8.314 joules per mole K. So for part B, our initial temperature is 406.3 Kelvin, but they want it in Celsius, so we'll minus 273 from that and that gives us 133 degrees Celsius or 130. So that is part B. Part C, we're gonna do the exact same thing except that now we're plugging in the final values. So the final pressure is 101,300 pascals. The volume doesn't change. So 0 0.0001 meters cubed 
divide all this by 0 0.009 moles times the constant 8.314 joules per mole K. This will give us 135.45 Kelvin minus 273 and that gives us a final temperature of negative 137.55 degrees Celsius or negative 140.